going to be a good week, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a good week. All right, back to the trucking part. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, hey there. Hi there. Who there? Did you guys miss me? I missed you. Took a few days off of work, man. I tell you what, rejuvenates you, gets you ready for the truck. You know what I'm going for here. Well, it's not in there. We must go to the other side. You know, I almost forgot I am an essential employee. I must go drive a truck. I found it. Yes, yes. Well, like I said, I'm an essential employee. As an essential employee, does that make me special? No, not really. It just means I get to keep doing my job. Right now, I'm in Sioux City, Iowa. It's in Western Iowa, if you guys don't know. I think there's a lot of essential employees for what I'm gathering. At least there must be a lot of essential employees. This town is hopping. Let's get on to Big Bertha here. Shh. Sorry, sorry. I hit you and I called you Big Bertha. First class. You gotta treat her right. You really gotta treat her right today, boys and girls, because guess where we're going? We're going to Tar Hill, North Carolina. It's over there by Wellington, North Carolina, which is on the coast, on the east coast. <clears throat> We're gonna run over there and drop off a load. Okay, I always forget to tell you guys what I'm hauling. Let's swing around to the other side of the trailer and grab the paperwork if I can tell you exactly what I'm hauling. We're hauling pizza rounds. Just a grill rattling, it's not an air leak. We're gonna haul pizza rounds out to North Carolina, Tar Hill, North Carolina. And you know what? It's a light load, which is good. You appreciate light loads when you're going out to North Carolina because, well, gotta wipe my feet. I usually wear these little booties if I don't get my truck muddy. I didn't put them on because it didn't look muddy. It's muddy. Well, like I said, guys, the load going out is a light load of frozen pizza rounds that's going to go inside of uh, Lunchables isn't the exact thing, but it goes into something like Lunchables. We've all had them, but that's what's in the trailer right now is frozen pizza. We're going to go out to Tar Hill, North Carolina. We, got, we have to be out there here in a couple days. No big rush. Here's the awesome part. This load only weighs 16,000 pounds. Nice light load, pays good. We're gonna roll through those hills, no problem. But usually when I get out there and I come home, usually my reloads are pretty heavy. Not this time. Our reload is going to Lamar's, Iowa out of Conover, North Carolina. Our reload's only gonna weigh 22,000 pounds. We're getting spoiled on this run. Right now, this is exactly what I want for a load though. We are going to go straight out, unload this load, grab the next load right away when we get reloaded, and it comes straight back to Western Iowa. You can't ask for a better load in these times right now. Whew! How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing healthy, is being healthy, being smart, you know, don't listen to everybody. If you can and you don't have to go to work, just stay put. Just for a little bit. No, you're not asking for all summer. Just just for a little bit. I'm going to do this log book, draw a few lines on it to make it look pretty. While I'm doing this, last week I mentioned Tater, Tater Tot, Warden, and all of the teachers in the MBO school district got together and did a little parade around town just to say, hey kids, we miss you. We want to see you. I hope all is good. Well, Warden did that. Little Bud taped it for me, recorded it for me. 
So why don't you guys watch that quick? It'd probably be about three, four minutes. I'll talk to you in a little bit. What's up, guys? And it's me again, it's Troy. And today there is we have no school here. And today there is a teacher parade. And yeah. I'm looking over there because I think there is, but it's not going down the street yet. So when there is, I'll be recording right here, and I'll probably be out there. So yeah. But I hope everybody's safe, and I hope nobody's sick. So they decided to put on a parade back there. And then when they see a student, they will honk like that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, got the bus in the back and my teacher's an Audi. That's, mm -hmm. that's a nice car. But she's the third car, if you're wondering who my teacher is. So yeah. Some of them, they decorated their windows and everything. They bumped up the music in some of them. The Ram Pride music, because that's our thing. Because that's our uh, Ram song, but yeah. Pretty cool thing the teachers did there, isn't it? I thought so, at least. You know, hats off to Warden on this week. She has got me supplied up so darn good in my fridge. It is full. I mean, we're talking full of food. If I do this right, we're going to travel 3,400 miles this week. I'm going to come in contact with three people. You know, the, the big fleet truck stops are going to make a killing off me this week because I can stop there, get fuel, and they just email me my fuel receipt. I don't have to go inside there for no for any reason whatsoever. It's going to be a good week, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a good week. All right, back to the trucking part. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well guys, it's supper time. Well, lunch time. I'm gonna call it lunch time. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see what Warden fixed me up for lunch. Got some goulash. I'm gonna pass on that right now or have that a little bit later. I love me some hamburger helper in the truck. That looks good, right? I'm gonna throw it up in the microwave quick. Right now, I'm gonna eat some lunch and we'll get going back on down the road. Thank you. Hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. I need you to subscribe. Boy, I tell you what, Warden, Whew, I love you. That food was good. My tummy is full. I'm ready to do some more trucking. It's gonna be dark before we stop again, so we're just gonna walk around, check the lights out, make sure they're all working good. Ready to go.
You know, I had somebody make a comment a couple videos back. They said, uh, why are you using a rubber glove when your leather gloves will work just as good? The thing about the rubber, the leather gloves, I can't use leather gloves when I'm pushing all those little buttons. And in order to get my receipt emailed to me to where I don't have to go inside the store, I have to use this machine out here with the little buttons instead of taking my cash or my card inside to prepay for fuel. So I use the glove to push the buttons. Then I use the, I throw these on when I'm pumping fuel. A lot of times I just use the gloves on, use the rubber glove all the time. But in this case, I needed to put my leather gloves back on. Well, I don't know why I did, but I did. It's just a couple more steps I take out here on the road to make sure that I don't bring it home to my family. I don't really, most us drivers, we don't really care about ourselves out here. It's just we don't want to bring it home to the family. So that is why the rubber glove is involved and not just the leather gloves. Looks like we're going to run into some rain, so i got to get this last cleaned up real good. Get all the bugs off of it, and we should be good to go and ready to hit the road. Earlier in the week, I was having, let's just say, my midweek drama session, I guess you could call it, to where I was just feeling really down in the dumps and not really myself. So I did what I normally do and I got on YouTube and started checking all the comments you guys leave on here. And you know, usually that brings me up into good spirits. I got a comment from a viewer, a subscriber, telling me that. I have a beautiful family and loves my videos. Then here's the cake topper from Spain. I was feeling great. Walked in the house, told the kids, hey, we have a viewer from Spain. Right away, Tater Tot goes, you know, Dad, they could be lying and not saying they're from Spain. I looked right at her and I said, hey, kid, I'm having a bad day. This brightened my day. Don't ruin it for me. She said, all right, all right, Dad. Well, then a little bit, another day went past. And I started thinking, well, maybe that person could have been lying, you know. You never really know. Well, then if you guys remember me talking about earlier about this thing called uh, YouTube Studio, it tells you a percentage of each country that your viewers are from. And I tell you what, I got down there. 0.4% of my viewers are from Spain. So that comment from the person from Spain, this is a shout out to you, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following my channel along and being a viewer. It's kind of spooky, you know, Schmidt broadcasting around the world now. I know I have a viewer in Spain now. I know I have one in Canada and I know I have one in Australia. And you get a spooky, guys. I think it's awesome. Once again, thank you for the uplifting comments. Thank you, Spain, for subscribing. Canada, Australia, of course, America. Other than that, guys, whew, we almost didn't find parking out here. It's insane. The amount of trucks out here right now is crazy. My little mom, Paul, truck stop that I like to stop at right over there by Paducah, Paducah, Kentucky, full, max full, on-ramp, off-ramp, full, full, it's 
we went just a little bit further. We found, uh, we stopped at Love's, and I'm thinking there's no way there's going to be a spot here. As you can see, I got nestled in beside these two little freight liners here, so they left me room. I'm happy they left me room, and I think it's the last spot in the truck stop. We traveled probably about a little bit over 700 miles today. We have about the same distance to go tomorrow. So, I mean, they're both good jaunts, both legal. I can do it all legal. Tomorrow's going to be a little rough to fit it in legal, but we can do it. So once we get into the Appalachian Mountains, it gets kind of rough. You know, to keep your speed. You know, usually traffic holds you up big time on this run. I don't know though. Once I hit, you know, St. Louis, as you guys seen when I went through St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis, Illinois, the whole part there, it was a ghost town. And usually that's bumper to bumper. So maybe the further east we go, it's going to get better. You know, in the wise of traffic, you know, it's just maybe it'll be all be a ghost town. Who knows, right? Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, like it. And uh, just a little reminder too is if you go to Trucking with Schmidt Vlogs on Facebook, it's a group. Go ahead and throw a request out there. I'm going to put it right here. Trucking, trucking with Schmidt. Go to that on Facebook. Other than that, guys, I hope you're staying happy. And oh my gosh, I hope everybody's staying healthy. And be safe. And I'll see you tomorrow.